Welcome to part two. In this section, we're going to discuss certificates. So choosing the correct documentation is very important for your company. Uh, first, you need to consider the answer to one of these, or to these two questions. Do you need an accredited laboratory certificate to meet ISO requirements 17025 or ANSI requirements? Uh, what class weights do you have? The answer to these two questions will direct you to which certificate is the best choice for you. So let's look at our calibration certificate. This is the certificate that it's used for the ASTM 0 through 3 classes, OIML, E2, F1, or F2. And, and if you had older weights, NIST class S or S1. Uh, this certificate it does meet the accreditation requirements that we talked about for the 17025. And here is an example of this certificate. Uh, in the certificate, you have as found, as left data. You have your tolerances. You have uncertainty reported. Um, you have your density information here. We have our NIST traceable numbers. This certificate is actually done uh, in a three-in-one weighing design. That is how the weights are tested here in-house here. And also per, per SOP 28 advanced weighing design methods. So this is a very thorough calibration procedure that is done in house here, and so this is the best cert to choose for a class for the higher class weights. Okay, the next cert we'll look at is an accredited certificate, also, and this will be a traceable certificate for your weight classes ASTM 4 through 7, NIST class F, OAML, M1, M2, and M3, or if you have some older weights that might be NIST T or C. Now this certificate also gives you as found as left data and uncertainty information as required for your accredited accreditation agencies. Um, this certificate is also done per uh, SOP 8. Um, that's the testing procedure that's used in-house. So this would be the choice if you're having a, what I would call the lower class weights, uh, class um, 4, 5, 6, F, and M1, M2, or M3. Now, if you're not accredited, but you do still need a traceable certificate, we offer the, uh, the Rice Lake Mass Value Certificate. This is for the classes ASTM 1 through 3, OIML F1 and F2, or existing weights M, S, S1, and P. And this is an example of that certificate here. And this, this testing is uh, done per SOP 8 also and you do get as found as left data. Uh, so it just doesn't meet the 17025 requirements. And the last cert that we have to offer is our certificate of accuracy. And, and what this cert gives you is just what class weight. So if you think back to our example that we had in part one for this 30 pound weight, our certificate for a class F, if I remember correctly, was uh, it was 1400 milligrams. So it would report that you bought a 30 pound weight and it was 1400 milligrams or 1.4 grams. That's all the information you would get. You wouldn't know that this particular weight weighed 30.005 pounds or something. You know, you wouldn't know an actual weight measurement by any means. It is not traceable. There's no actual weight values as I just told you in that example. And it's not a legal for trade document. Uh, we like to, spe to point this out because a lot of times people purchase this and then, you know, want, believe that it, the state weights and measures are going to accept this as a certificate of traceability, and it's not. It just tells you what tolerance you have. And this is an example of the certificate of accuracy for your viewing. Okay. We have this information. Uh, located in our Precision Solutions catalog. Let me just show you, uh, give you a quick reference here. The first guidelines that I was talking about is in picking the right certificate. And all this information is in our Precision Solutions catalog, and you can easily view it and follow the, the, the flow chart here to help you reference what would be the right certificate for you. And another reference for you is the tolerances of the weight. I know that not everybody's going to have a 30 pound weight, so they're also going to be interested in what the tolerances are for other classes of weights. And in our precision solutions in the back, we also have the different tolerances for all the different um, OAML, ASTM, NIST weights, and also we have this in 
kg, grams, and pounds. So you do have a tolerance chart to help you in your selection. And this catalog, uh, if you don't have one, you can get one sent to you by contacting our sales department or myself, and we'll be happy to send one out to you. Thank you for viewing part two, and feel free to contact me and Crowley with any follow-up questions, and here's my email address. Look forward to helping you.